बी रेडी फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट द प्रेजेंट केस इज ए कंप्लेंट अंडर सेक्शन वन थर्टी एट ऑफ नेगोशिएबल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स एक्ट एटीन एटी वन हेयर इन आफ्टर रेफर्ड टू एज द एक्ट फाइल्ड बाय द कंप्लेनेंट ऑन द एवरमेंट्स दैट इन द मंथ ऑफ जून टू थाउजेंड सेवनटीन एक्यूज अप्रोच हिम फॉर ए फ्रेंडली लोन ऑफ रुपीज वन लैक ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड ऑन द प्रिटेक्सट ऑफ मैरिज ऑफ हिज डॉटर इट हैज बीन एवर्ड दैट इन डिस्चार्ज ऑफ हिज पार्ट ऑफ लाइबिलिटी फॉर द लोन ऑप्टेंड द एक्यूज इशूड टू चेक्स बियरिंग नंबर एट फाइव जीरो वन फोर फोर डेटेड ट्वेंटी सिक्स टेन टू थाउजेंड सेवनटीन फॉर ए सम ऑफ रुपीज सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एंड अनदर चेक बियरिंग नंबर एट फाइव जीरो वन फोर थ्री डेटेड नाइन इलेवन टू थाउजेंड सेवनटीन फॉर ए सम ऑफ रुपीज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड बोथ ड्रॉन ऑन देना बैंक सेक्टर नाइन नोएडा इन फेवर ऑफ द कंप्लेनेंट इट इज फर्दर एवर्ड That the a four said checks on presentation were returned unpaid for the reason funds insufficient and other for the reason payment stopped respectively. Wide separate return advices dated six eleven two thousand seventeen and twenty eleven two thousand seventeen. It is averred that the complainant. issued a legal notice dated 9/11 2017 and dated 30/11 2017 respectively to the accused by registered ad and courier to which accused sent a vague reply it is averred that despite service of the legal notice the accused failed to make the payment within stipulated period of 15 days it is further averred that the complaint has been filed within limitation the accused was summoned wide order dated 11 12 2017 and dated 8 1 for the offence under section 138 n i act in respect of the two a four said checks respectively thereafter the accused appeared before the court and was admitted to bail wide order dated 12 2 in both the respective cases notice under section 251 crpc for the offence under section 138 ni act was served upon the accused to which he pleaded not guilty and claimed trial after complainant evidence was led the statement of accused was recorded under section 313 crpc wherein all incriminating material existing on record including exhibited documents were put to the accused to which the stand of the accused was of general denial he admitted that he had issued the check in question but stated that he was forcibly made to sign the check in the police post in the presence of police personals he has denied any liability in respect of the checks towards the complainant he further stated that he had got the payment stopped because he was called in the police post sector 5 noida and complainant forcibly made him to sign the checks he further stated that 
he had made complaints about this incident on 1710-2017 to SSP and Deputy Commissioner and filed a complaint in Noida court against the complainant. The accused stated that he wanted to lead evidence in defense and filed an application under Section 315 CRPC to examine himself on oath which was allowed by the order dated 3-2-2019. The accused appeared as DW1 and deposed that he was residing with the complainant in the same house in the year 2017 on rent in village Harola, Sector 5, Noida. He stated that the complainant started harassing and extending threats to the accused and his son Lokesh Tiwari in the month of September 2017 when the sister of the complainant went missing on suspicion that his son was involved in her missing. The accused further deposed that on 5-11-2017 at about 7.30 am the complainant along with his cousin brother and three police constables of police station sector 20 Noida picked him up forcibly from the mandir situated at E169A sector 7 Noida where he was working as Pandit and then went to the house of his nephew Rajiv Jha at Delhi where he was also picked up forcibly under threat to their lives and they both were taken to police post sector 5 Noida. They were detained there till 1 pm and then taken to Bharat Ghar sector 20 Noida where two stamp papers of rupees 50 and rupees 25 each were bought by the complainant who made the accused signed those two blank stamp papers. He further deposed that the complainant and other police personals thereafter took the accused and his nephew to Dena Bank, Sector 9, Noida, got issued a checkbook by making him sign an application for issuance of checkbook and then obtained his signatures on two blank checks out of the said checkbook under threat, force and coercion. He deposed that one person namely Shri Narayan joined them and it was he who prepared the application for issuance of check and filled the checks in question in the name of complainant 1 of rupees 50,000 and another for rupees 75,000 in his handwriting. It has been further deposed that throughout this incident the accused was under threat on gunpoint. It has been further deposed by the accused that after they were set free he was under mental tension and depression. Due to unwanted threats to his life, he could not lodge the complaint against complainant and other persons.